going into 2019, undoubtedly you will attend some farm shows or field days, that kind of thing. And of course we want you to attend the Ag PhD Field Day in July. But another event that we think you have to attend is Commodity Classic. Well, there's so many things that are happening in agriculture and to get all those things in one place where you can learn is so valuable. And when you think about all the different th moving parts in agriculture, whether it's new seed technologies or new things in the crop protection side and great farmers who are tying them all together, that's exactly what you'll find at Commodity Classic. For each of the last few years, Darren and I have spoken at Commodity Classic and we will again this year. But for me personally, I like going to hear other great farmers talk. So when you go to this particular event, you'll find a lot of fantastic corn, soybean, wheat, and sorghum producers. And when you pick their brains a little bit and find out what they're doing, it gives me a lot of ideas for what I can do on my farm, and I'm sure it would for you as well. Well, when you get into the winter months, you start hearing about all these yields that were set around the country, and you think, wow, how did that guy raise 270 bushel corn in this environment? How did that guy raise 400 bushel corn over there? those people are going to be at Commodity Classic. They're going to talk about, hey, here's what I did, and here's some of the different things that I did, and here's what you can learn. Now, you may say, nobody's going to tell me all their secrets. A lot of these guys are willing to because, let's face it, if they're already 100 bushels of corn ahead of you, they're probably not too worried about you catching up, and you probably don't live right next to them anyway where they're worried about, oh boy, he's going to take away my farm ground or something like that. These farmers are really competitive, but they also are pretty cool in that they like to share some of these details and try and help you out as well. The other nice thing with Commodity Classic is, especially now when they com combined with Ag Connect a few years ago, you can find a lot of the top companies in agriculture with booths and a lot of their great people, a lot of great displays there at Commodity Classic. So it's everything from equipment to the crop protection side, seed, fertility, biologicals, you name it. Lots of companies are there. So you get the opportunity indoors in the middle of the winter to talk to a lot of really good people that can help you with things on your farm. Well, here's one thing that's really cool. And you mentioned the equipment brand. And I like talking to some of these really top farmers from around the country, some of the top yielding guys, and they're talking about, man, we have to have good stand establishment early in order to get this yield. Great. Here's a planter right here like my planter. Show me what you're doing. Show me what you're adjusting. Show me which of these new parts you really like to put on there and what's working for you and talk about your return on investment. And to get answers like that and talk to the experts right there around these machines as well, that's pretty cool. Well, once again, it's Commodity Classic coming up in just a couple of months. We would encourage you to go there. Uh, to hear Darren and me talk, of course, but besides that, there are a lot of great reasons to be at Commodity Classic. We think it's one of the top farm shows in the country, and we just encourage you, don't miss it. Plus, it's a great spot where you will not see our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show.